Hello, this is Joseph Garrett and welcome to game number 13 of the Games Thirst Halo Reach Championship. This week between our defending champion F to the A's and the player that qualified last week, Afrodan91. They're going to be playing on the map Asylum this week. So let's, as always, start off watching on the view of our defending champion, which is the player that I love to watch, F to the A's. So aggressive, so offensive in the way that he plays, always charging the other player's base. It's really exciting to watch him play and he always manages to put on a show, but he's got a very worthy opponent this week with Afrodan. We saw Afrodan himself uh, putting on a show last week in this qualifying game managing to get two killing sprees and a killing frenzy all within the one game managing to qualify for this game in a rather exciting fashion and also F to the A's we saw him playing two weeks ago on this map against I Need Boots and he put on a show in that game managing to win that game quite convincingly but it was a very exciting game until the end as we can see F to the A's is the player putting on the pressure immediately at the beginning of the game Afrodan's kind of retracted back towards his base while F to the A's is the player controlling ring to the middle of the map and this is probably the position you want to be this way, if he does manage to kill Afro Dan, he's going to kind of keep control of the map and be immediately ready to set up to try and spawn kill and get another kill off Afro Dan. Afro Dan does here finally move out of his base and moves up towards his sniper rifle spawn. But F2A's is going in for the charge. He then manages to get the quick scope right into Afro Dan's head, picking up the first strike medal, getting the first kill of the game. I love the way that F to the A snipes. He's so fast when he zooms in. The other player normally doesn't have a chance to even fire their weapon, and they've already either got a shot on them if not very close to them Afrodan did go for a bit of a flank there towards his jump up but once again another really quick snipe this time to the body taking away all of Afrodan's shield Afrodan is here staying down low not letting F to the A's get that final headshot on him but he wants to be half careful because F to the A's has still got the high ground and he's pushing in and he then manages to see his feet gets two nice shots on Afrodan Afrodan's moving up towards ring through F to the A's gets a few more nice shots putting away all of Afrodan's shield he's there got him to one shot and he does pick up the headshot making Taking him two kills up here right at the very beginning of this game. A very convincing start by our champion F to the A's. And Afrodan is how now once again spawned in his base. F to the A's doesn't know where he is. It's like Afrodan is here pushing down towards his rocks. He really needs to get into a better area of the map. Afrodan is likely to get stuck. He doesn't want to be here. Trying to fight out of his rocks is a very difficult angle to shoot from. And it's very difficult to escape if you are down to low shield. And F to the Ace does still have one shot left in his sniper rifle. And we know how accurate and fast he is. It could so easily get fired straight into Afrodan's head. Uh, Afrodan seems to be pushing down towards ring one. And F to the Ace does manage to get a snipe once again to the body. Taking away Afrodan's shield. Afrodan is deciding to run away. F to the Ace is chasing after him once again. Staying above him. Looks like they're going to get into another DMR battle, but Afrodan probably wisely backs down. But no, he does go charge into ring two. But F to the A's caught him sprinting and manages to get the perfect, perfect five shot and takes him out. Very nice accuracy by F to the A's. Afrodan, I'm not sure what he was trying to do sprinting in like that. Was probably trying to charge for a melee, but F to the A's managed to keep his cool and did manage to take him out. And he's here once again, got control of Afrodan's sniper hut. And the sniper will be spawning in about five seconds from now. F to the A's knowing this times his run to get here very carefully. Carefully. It looks like he's going to sneakily go and try and drop down on Afrodan. He does do that, managing to take out his shield and pick up the headshot. So we will have control of Afrodan's sniper. And if he so chooses, he can run back to his own base now and pick up his own sniper. It looks like Afrodan is trying to go towards F to the A's sniper, but A's manages to find him and get a sniper. Well, no, he almost managed to get a sniper on him, but he knows where Afrodan is. Once again, barely missing another quick scope. Afrodan is here staying on the car bridge. This time he does manage to connect with that shot, taking away Afrodan's shield, decides to not charge in and instead going to run back to his base and pick up some extra ammo for that sniper rifle. Some wise play here by F to the A's. He's here going for a no scope. He, oh, he barely misses Afrodan with that no scope, just skimming right past him. But Afrodan is charging once again, getting caught sprinting. Good shots by F to the A's. He's taken down all of his shields and he manages to get the headshot. And that is his killing spree, going five kills to none up here at the beginning of this game. A brilliant start yet again by F to the A's. And what a prediction. He guessed exactly where Dan was going. And he had the reticle right where Dan was going to jump to before Dan even got there. Took away Dan's shield. But looks like he's going to escape yet again. But it seems like he's always on the back foot. Looks like Dan's always either weak or in a worse position. It just seems like better tactics from F to the A's is really what's putting him ahead in this game. As he there goes in and gets a nice snipe melee kill. Taking out Dan yet again. Making it his sixth kill in a row. Dan really wants to try and turn something around 
long now. Otherwise, this game is going to run away from him as FTAs has once again got him trapped at the back of his base. Looks like he's here moved down towards his shotgun tunnel, though, trying to get his hands on a different type of power weapon. Maybe try and engage FTAs in a close range battle and try and make sure that FTA sniper isn't as effective as it could have been as he uh, seems to be just waiting for F to the Ace to drop down, almost daring him to do so, but F to the Ace isn't taking the bait and instead goes even higher up, barely missing Afro down with that shot. It's a very difficult angle when you're shooting almost directly down on someone. I mean, there are some more nice shots on Afro Dan. Afro Dan goes for the escape, but no, he does there finally manage to take out Afro Dan. There was a slight delay there. You can see that Afro Dan is actually the host of this game, so it's going to be a slight delay for F to the A's, giving a small advantage to Afro Dan. Although you do so often see that he's actually the best player that wins, although the connection is sometimes an issue. You rarely see a player that you think should have won losing in this game, but F to the A's is now once again down to no shield this is Daffro Dan's first big chance to try and get a kill but he doesn't go and charge maybe he didn't know how effective his grenade actually was on taking down his shield he there looks almost confused at where F to the Aced is coming from he only managed to get one shot on F to the Aced before he's taken out so it seems to be a bit of a bad situation here from Dan as he once again spawns in his rocks and FTA is immediately putting shots on him. What perfect DMR, long range. Afro Dan really isn't getting given a break here. As soon as he spawns, he's already getting shots on him from F to the A's. He's here just watching all of the spawn areas. He obviously knows the map so well, knows where Dan's going to come from. And once again, Dan pokes out for just one second and he gets four really fast shots on him again, taking away all of his shield. He's here charging in to try and finish him off. Afro Dan's once again down to no shield and FTA the ace does come in and take him out and that's his killing frenzy that's 10 kills in a row without dying he looks set to possibly even be getting a perfection in this game which means at least 15 kills in a row without any deaths as he's here got afro dan in his sight again that could have shot looked like it almost connect but it does just about miss him afro dan once again just managing to stay alive as he's here pushing into f to the a's base probably going to try and pick up his sniper and he does do so but he also gets a snipe shot right into his back taking away all of his shields yet again so you have to once again moving up towards the top of the map while Afro Dan is here sitting down in F to the A's sniper tunnel once again almost daring F to the A's to drop down Dan hasn't picked up that shotgun but he's got his sniper out and F to the A's just dropped down but doesn't manage to pick him up a kill with that sniper rifle looks like both players are going to back down again and have another engagement FTA's is here going to try and jump up to his sniper. He does make that difficult jump of that small wrap. And he there does catch Dan off guard. He wasn't expecting FTA's to be up there. But Dan is still being clever, staying down in that shotgun tunnel. He knows that if FTA's does try and drop down, Dan can so easily pick up that shotgun and take him out in that close range situation. FTA is now using the plasma pistol, probably a very underrated uh, gun in Halo Reach. If you use it firing it and not charging it, you can take out the other player's shield extremely quickly. It is a very underrated weapon to use. And uh, it's a very explosive start here by FTA's, really showing why he is our champion. And he is the strong favourite going into this game. After the Ace had played for 6 days and 21 hours competitively online, while Afro Dan had played for 3 days and 12 hours. Afro Dan had got 548 games played, where F to the Ace had got 1,318. So he has played a lot more games, and he's also got a much better KD ratio. Afro Dan has a very respectable 1.56, but F to the Ace has an incredible 2.25 KD ratio while playing online. And for anyone who knows about KD ratios in Halo, it's very difficult to get anything above a 2. And so the fact that he's managed to play so consistently well online is really translating across to him doing very well well in this game but it also seems like the pace of this game has somewhat slowed down I think FTA's knowing that Afro Dan does have the host he doesn't want to engage Afro Dan in too many one-on-one -on -one DMR battles because he will have the disadvantage or maybe he's thinking that he survived this long without dying he really doesn't want to give away any deaths at all. He seems to be playing slightly more passively and more trying to stay alive rather than constantly charging in to get kills again. But Afro Dan is doing a good job in trying to stay close to FDAs and not give away any deaths himself. It would be nice to see him at least try and get one kill on the board, even if it is looking probably slightly too late for him to get a comeback in this game. In fact, let's switch over to Afro Dan and see what he's going to do. FDAs is going to pick up the sniper rifle in any seconds it should be spawning. Once again, you can see his knowledge of the game 
game and the map moving towards the power positions of where the power weapons are going to spawn before they do spawn and but here does manage to take out afro dan so let's switch back over to f to the a's as he's here going to be picking up the sniper rifle it has just spawned it looks like afro dan spawned in his rocks but a nice grenade that will take away f to the a's shield f to the a's is going going for the snipes doesn't manage to pick it up on the first shot charging out yet again showing no fear and uh, afro dan is going to be moving down into ring one he's going to be want to be very careful he was caught in this situation before and he managed to die because of it he's doing a little better this time as he gets f to the a's down to no shield and does pick up his first kill of the game that's a revenge kill a headshot and a killjoy and he's now going to have the sniper rifle although he seems to have some trouble as he's actually picking up the needler instead so let's here watch Afro Dan. A nice grenade though from F to the Ace will take away all of Dan's shield before he's even had a chance to take a shot with that sniper rifle. And now F to the Ace has picked up his sniper rifle also. It looks like we're going to have a situation very similar to how it was at the beginning of this game. Almost like a sniper standoff as the players have now spotted each other. F to the A's took the shot first. Neither player managed to hurt each other though. F to the A's has taken away all of Dan's shield and then managed to kill him with the headshot. There's now only 1 minute and 33 seconds left on the clock. F to the A's once again immediately looking for Dan to spawn. A sniper rifle shot almost looked like it should have connected but it doesn't actually take away Dan's shield. But another nice shot there. Once again showing his speed at using the sniper rifle as he's here now playing without any fear he knows that he's already got a death so it doesn't matter if he dies again and he's here just going to try and charge in and kill Dan as many times as he can and he then managed to actually kill Dan by shooting him with the sniper in the leg taking him out he's now got 13 kills on the board Afro Dan has only got one this game is all but over but they're going to carry on playing until the end of the time as FDA has managed to get another no scope on there taking away Dan shield and manages to finish him off again with the headshot I think FDA is just trying to get as many kills as he can until the the end of this game he knows that if he wins this game he's going to be playing again next week with a chance of winning microsoft points in his next championship game if he manages to win that that will be his third game he's won in a row and that will mean that he is able to win the microsoft points but this game is still not over yet there's still 30 seconds but he's got dan down to no shield once again he's going in to try and pit and finish him off and he does manage to get that headshot Will Dan be able to get another kill on the board just simply for pride's sake? I'm not sure if you will. We are running out of time in this game. There's only now 17 seconds left until F to the A's manages to go through into our next championship game. He's once again got Dan here trapped in his base using that plasma pistol yet again. See, Afro Dan's not even bothering moving. He knows he's lost. And that's F to the A's second killing spree of this game as he does win this week's championship game. 16 kills to one. A very impressive is showing there by F to the A's. Afro Dan tried his hardest, but he just simply couldn't match the quality and the aggression that F to the A's brought to this game. So F to the A's has won 16 kills to one. He's going to be playing against another player in two weeks' time. If you would like to enter the game's first Halo Reach Championship, you can do so by emailing gt underscore hrc at live.com. Just tell me what your gamer, tag, uh, your gamer tag is in the email and I will contact you. But that's the end of this week's championship game. Cheers for watching and I will see you later.